Hello, everyone. Welcome to Diecast Calls. Why do I call it Diecast Calls? I've been asked that question a couple of times, and this is an example. This is a Diecast Call. This um, array of 31 red lines, Mattel Hot Wheel red lines, uh, arrived in the mail. Um, it was a call. The doorbell rang, and these wonderful vintage legacy Mattel products arrived on my doorstep. I'm always looking to buy collections. And so this one I wanted to share with you because it was one of those special ones where the pictures that I had received from the customer were just outstanding. And I thought, you know what? Let's do this together. Let's Let's open up some Here's a magenta evil weevil that's very heavily played with, and it looks like a lot of Hong Kong popping going on, but it's magenta. And if you're familiar with Hot Wheels, Red Lines, you'll know that the magenta evil weevil is very difficult to find. It's one of those tough colors, so to speak. And uh, this one, that's our first one. That's our first opener right there. Our next one is a Beach Bomb. You're familiar with that, right? The Beach Bomb was released in 1969. This is not an original 16, the original 16s that Mattel made. And this one has uh, been sitting in a um, in storage. This, is, this collection partially came from storage. Look inside there. You see the spider webs? <laughs> yep, it's been sitting a long time. That's maybe why the tarnishing is going on. Very, very interesting metal, gunmetal base, but tarnished over time because it just it sat forever. And so uh, those are reproduction boards. A light or a darker blue. Beach Bomb. The Beach Bomb. How about the next one? What do you think? Let's... Uh, What's in, oh, here's a classic cord. And when I bought, uh, when I brought this in, the, um, the collector told me, you know what? I'm missing the original canopy. And that's no problem. This is a green classic cord. But you know what? I have one. I have a reproduction. Now, the reproduction you can see does not have any numbers right the the original canopies that mattel made have uh, what they call the um the serial number the the casting number of the car um indelled into the plastic so that's a reproduction canopy or or roof and so um that'll be disclosed that way it does have the uh the hood that opens up a little bit of wear on the uh, on the two fenders, but by and large, it's a nice little that's a nice little cord right there, classic cord. It's a difficult car to find. Um, Mattel liked the 442. Mattel didn't make that many of them, and so supply and demand, right? You know, typical economics 101. A little bit tougher to find out there. Here's a nice little US Ferrari 312P. I can tell you can tell this U.S. because it has the clear glass and uh, the paint. Paint is very indicative, more of a shiny, a shiny glossy paint versus the uh, the peppering and sometimes a sandpaper feel of Hong Kong paint finish. Nice little blue Ferrari 312P. Next up, I have no idea what order these are in, but uh, let's look at them together. So here is a Light My Firebird, and it looks like reproduction roundels, and this is an olive. It does have the steering wheel. Sometimes the steering wheel can be missing in action. Of course, they were all made in Hong Kong. I always like to have the grill nice and clean. It's a nice clean grill right there, isn't it? Yeah. I like how the olive paint color matches the interior. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. These cars, um, like I said, were in storage, and 
I don't know how long and where and what environment that they were in, but they'll all be cleaned up before they go on display and or before they're sold. Uh, this is a beautiful custom firebird, Hong Kong, blue, blue, blue. So you have, you have the tinted windshield, which is tinted blue, the blue interior, and the beautiful blue finish. This is Hong Kong, of course. The other thing you want to check with your with your um, red lines when you have hoods that open is making sure they're nice and secure. You know, tug them, hold on to them because the pins sometimes get broken with aggressive use. So that's a nice little blue Hong Kong custom Firebird. Custom Firebird, original 16, right? That's an original 16 right there. So far, that's the only one that I've uncovered so far. Here we have a, um, a classic 31 Woody. Ford. And uh, this one is a B as in boy casting. I don't know if you can see that in there as I tip it towards the light. There's a B uh, that's built into the cast right there. You can tell it's a B not only because it's cast in there, but the the roof. The roof is is a is a um, finish, flat finish. It's not crinkly top. Um, nice, uh, nice purple color. You know, decent, uh, decent grill. Not too bad. Got the two pipes. Sometimes a pipe could be broken. And uh, sometimes the runner boards underneath are not painted. This one is. So that's a nice little uh, a nice little classic Woody right there. Yep. 1969. So, so far we only have one original 16 sitting up there. What's going on around here? Huh? Let's see if we can change some of that. Let's see if there's some more original 16s. Well, here's a 69. This happens to be a beautiful custom charger in orange now the thing with um with the chargers is the paint on the on the hoods were painted at a different part of the factory from what i understand and sometimes you'll find a lot of times i should say the hood will be a slightly different tone color than the rest of the car nice little charger right there mm -hmm. again you know i tug the I tug the um, the hood, and you can see see how the um, I, it drops in. That pin is um, the pin's there. I can see it. You can see the pin right there. I don't know if you can see that right inside there. The pin is sitting there. It just isn't clamped in, so that's not too bad. And a little cowl mark right there. A little bit of chipped paint because when you you would open up the hood, the um, the mark would hit the cowl. But uh, that's a nice little uh, that's a nice little charger right there, yeah. Nice car, uh, sixty nine, and they're a little bit a little bit harder to find out in the wild in nice condition. So this feels like another bomb. Let's see, another beach bomb? No, this is a Woody. Yeah, this is a Woody. Ooh, that's a nice color too. Look at that dark red. Ooh, that's sweet. Smooth top. B, uh, B as in boy casting. Beautiful wheels, huh? The pipes are there. That's a sweet little ride right there. Some toning going on there. Good engine. Nice grill. It's a nice car. That's going to be a nice addition for someone's Woody collection, especially if you're looking at uh, classic Woodies and the rainbows. You know, the rainbows that, you know, different colors and the what spectrum. This feels like another charger. Let's see, could it be? Yeah. So this is a, oops, it's a blue, blue charger. They all had white interiors. Let's check this hood out. Pins are solid. You do have the slight cowl mark and some little bit of toning. Nice, uh, nice tail lights. Blue charger. It's a sweet little ride right there, isn't it? Ooh, shiny base. You like to see that. That's a nice car right there. Let's put these around, put the chargers next to each other. Why not? <laughs> a couple more on the side here. What could this one be? I think I can feel it. This one has, uh, could this be another? This is a blown engine. Okay, no, but the engine is, uh, I could, yeah, it's a uh, fleet side. Sure, look at that. Nice orange. Now, it's Hong Kong, you can tell by the glass and the steering wheel. 
Will it have a painted tail? No. So this is a little bit later run. The early runs had the orange would come all the way around here and it would be orange painted in the, in the back, which would indicate early run. This is a decent uh, later run. Nice glossy paint, a little bit of toning. You see the toning, a little shades of toning, a couple little spots right there. It's a very sought after color in this condition because a lot of times the, um, it's, got a, it's got a smooth interior on the um on the on the back canopy it snaps really tight nicely um a lot of times the back color black paint will be messed up this is nice and clean as well as a grill really clean yeah, collectors are looking for clean um no chips you know you got a little spot right there but for the most part this is a this is a really nice fleet side it really is look at those tires all hong kongs all mediums shiny base it's a sweet little ride right there. That's a nice car. That's an original 16. So we only have one. We only have two so far. We only have two original 16s. A couple of 69s. A couple of 69s right there. What's this? Another Woody? No. Paddy Wagon. Ooh. So Paddy Wagon with gold leaf on the uh, insignia, the three police. Um, if you look real close at your paddy wagons, you'll see 1913 fuzz that was basically built into the casting. And then when it was painted on the grill, I'm talking about, and when it was painted black, if you look real close, you'll see it'll say uh, 1913 fuzz. A little wear on the, little wear on the, um, the fenders, but, um, it is, uh, those are capped wheels. Those are caps. Got the glass. Yep. That came along a little bit longer. Looks like a Firebird here. So we have some more 16s. I'll, I'll, I'll build the other 16s if we have them on the, on the back of the next shelf here. Nope, this is a Light My Firebird. Oh, so this is original Roundel. And I'll show you the difference between the two. Here's an original Roundel. I'm talking about the three. Here is a reproduction round. You'll see the difference between the two. A little bit of gloss going on there. And if you look real close at your reproduction roundels, you'll see, um, I don't see them here, but sometimes you can detect a little bit of um, a little indentation at the top that indicates that, uh, that they were made on different paper. So I'm gonna put the Light My Firebird back. The red one's there. Got the original stripe on the side. And also the, um, the grill is nice and clean. It's a nice one. Light my fire bird in red. Only made in Hong Kong. Whoa, got the nice tail lights on there too. Original roundel here. Of course, those are Hong Kong wheels. You can tell they're Hong Kong because of the very chromy, very chromy wheels um, versus a uh, versus the U.S. So I'll show you the difference between the two. So here is a, a good example of a medium. That's a medium Hong Kong. And here is a U.S. a U.S. of course from the um, from the charger we looked at before. See the difference as, as far as the uh, the shine and the gleam. A little bit more a little more chromy on your Hong Kong U.S. Not as chromy as far as the actual uh, red line wheel. All right, put him there. What is this? I saw the front of it. Still looking to put some more six original 16s up there if we can find them. Oh, here's a nice sugar caddy. This is a sweet ride. Look at this one. Ooh. Yep. It's snug. A little bit of a rub on the top, but it's very, very common to see a little rub um, because there's so much roof space, uh, so much roof uh, coverage. Um, not cracked. It's a heavy casting, so it was really used. Uh, as your, uh, as your speed coming down the track. I'll double check the roundel. I don't think it's original, but I'll double check on that. Right there. There's your base, of course, they're all caps. Also made in Hong Kong, of course, you know that. Sugar Caddy, that's a nice ride right there. That's a sweet little car. That's a nice one. Nothing wrong with that. Next up, what is this? Feels real boxy. Could this be another bomb? Yeah, 
another beach bomb. This one is an aqua and it has the water slide decals, uh, the flower power, if you will. You know, over the years I've been collecting and selling and trading these cars. Um, it's um, <clears throat> the original owners of these cars <clears throat> would put the decals in certain, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times the decals were strategically placed for a reason. There was some rhyme and reason to it, if you will. Let's take a look at my theory here. So on this side, the driver's side, you see a yellow, white, and a violet and orange. Yellow and white, a violet and orange. See that? See what they did? So the original owner made some pattern, made some pattern to it. Nice clean glass, minimal amount of, of uh, paint popping that you'd find with the Hong Kong, especially the front, the front base of your uh, of your beach bombs are there's a lot of times that you'll find we call peppering or um, missing little speckles of paint this is a gleaming beauty right here look at this thing base has got some tarnish to it both pipes are there and it looks like oh gee yeah because of very very let's test out some theory here um I'm seeing some flexibility. I'm feeling some flexibility. Very, very thin ski. You call the top part, it's not a fin, it's called a ski on your uh, on your beach bomb uh, boards. Uh, and then this one, where'd it go? Well, where'd it go? Here it is. Uh, they're flexible and the ski is very narrow. Very narrow. That tells me I'm pretty sure I'm getting a feeling here. I'm going to do some some homework on that, but these look like they may be original. I'll verify everything. Nice tires. Nice little car right there. Take him and put him right there instead. I'm going to put the cord on the side here. All right, what's next? There are a total of 31 cars <clears throat> in this particular... What is it? Oh, 442. This one's got some wear to it. Yeah. Uh, let's check out a couple of key things about the 442. Number one, the um, the tooth is missing. The couple of the wear points here and there. Okay, that is not original. The wing um, needs to be flexible. So when you get a 442, even though it may have some numbers imprinted in the plastic it doesn't mean it's original it's not it's not real flexible it's it's very stiff that tells me that this is a a reproduction and it's got one post broke on the side there so you know what the car is complete as far as how it should look what the original uh what the original look was supposed to be but um it has to be disclosed to the next owner if in fact there has been a modification and the modification is the original um, wing spoiler wing was missing and was replaced like we replaced the um, the canopy on the cord olds 442 1971 that's a 71 right there one of those uh, one of those rare things that you don't find that often because Mattel didn't make as many of them. This feels like another flight my firebird. Let's test out my the up. There it is. This one has no roundels, no rocker panel stripe, no rocker panel stripe, no roundels, and the pipes are all there. That's a sweet little uh, that's a sweet little toned copper, toned copper. Yep. Hong Kong manufactured. All right, here's the other one right there. I'll put them up there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Can't tell what this is. Oh, it's a um, Barracuda. Okay. So here's a U.S. custom Barracuda. Original 16 right here. Make room for him right away. We're going to make room for him because I, the, the priority, because they're so hard to find nowadays in clean condition, are original 16s. So here are some original 16s. 
I'll keep I'll keep those in the front just out of uh, out of respect, <laughs> out of respect for the hobby. Here's another light my fire burn. This one is in olive. It's an olive light my fire burn. Now check this out. Uh, I want to show you something here. See, there, these are both olive. Can you see the difference in color slightly? Both made in Hong Kong, right? So you have a toned um, or darker olive and lighter olive. Um, you know, sometimes you, you attribute those things to quality control uh, up at the plant, wherever that was, and um, nothing you can do about it, right? It just kind of a, creates a creates an interesting rainbow too though. I mean you can say, hey I have olive, but you know I have different color olives as an example. Could this be another charger? Yeah, this is a light green. No collar mark. Let's check the hood. Solid. Nice lime. Isn't that beautiful? That's a nice little charger right there. Nothing to sneeze at with this guy. Mm-mm. Some tarnish, some shine. That's a sweet little ride right there. Let's put let's put this charger next to its its uh, its cousins. Right there. In fact, we're gonna move this guy over here. Put him there. I'm gonna put the caddy over here. Light my Firebird right there. Let's do that. Got a couple more. Those are sweet. I left this little slot here because I'm hoping I got my fingers crossed. <laughs> that there's going to be a couple more original 16s popping out of here. And just when I say that, there it is. Arrives on the scene. Bails me out. <laughs> Purple. U.S. Custom Barracuda. <clears throat> and uh, the hood is solid. Nice car. There you go. Two 16s right there. One, two, three, four so far. We got some more space. Come on. Come on, please. Let's be, let's get some more originals up there. Original 16s, please. <laughs> Not going to get it with this one. Oh, uh, man. It looks like some kid paint on the back there. So uh, I'll double check that, but I think that was added on later on in life by, a, by an aggressive child. That's my guess. I'll double check that. I got a couple of people that I, I check my uh, my cars with, but this is a 442, but it's called a um, the uh, Police Cruiser, and that feels like a plastic base. I think that it is. Yeah, the um, this is a 73, and the 72 had the sticker, or is it the 73, 74? So this may be a 74 flying colors. Put this 442 over here where the other 442 is. Can you see that over on the side there? All right, that's good. Got a couple more. I got a couple more here. This is a real tiny car. What is it, open wheel? Yes. Ooh, Brabham, isn't it? Brabham Repco. Beautiful. Nice. Aqua. That's a sweet little car right there. You know what I like about these? Chromy pipes. Super chromy. Yeah, you want you collecting open wheels. You want to have them with the nice chrome pipes because typically the kid would want to grab. You want to grab the car with the pipes. I never do that. I always try to grab the car wherever I can and and, and not the uh, not on the pipes. And then uh, Mattel did install the uh, the the water slide Hot Wheels sticker on the right side of the car. Look at those Hong Kong tires. Sweet, those are nice. Glass is good, too. Glass is nice and sharp. There's an open wheel for you. All you open wheel fans out there. This is a big, bulky car. What is it? It's heavy. What is it? Oh, it's a um, Carabo. And this is an interesting car. How about this? Magenta. Super clean. Yeah, the base is nice. One little mark right there, but i tell you what. That's a nice... Uh, that's a sweet little car right there. Yeah, the gall wing doors. And when they uh, they shut, they shut tight and nice. Nice profile there. You know, it always amazes me that Mattel would be able to make consistently all these cars, especially this design, and that the gull wings would, uh, would basically put it be, uh, you know, when they were put back down, that they would it'd be in place. I always, I always been fascinated by that engineering feat from the Mattel engineers. 
All right, let's see. Here is a King Kuda. King Kuda, and it looks like toned orange, a little bit of wear on the top. This is a, a very popular car that's a sought after. Little King Kuda action there, original roundel. The stripe and roundel, all original. That's a sweet little car right there. King Kuda. All right, a couple more. What do we have here? Something bulky. <laughs> and what pops out of there? Another beach bomb. Those boards look original too. Again, look at the front. It's not all peppered up. That's nice. Glass is nice. Got the nice Hong Kong wheels. Yeah, that's a nice little bomb right there. Let's put him next to, uh, that's a Volkswagen, Volkswagen. Let's go here. Put this one right here. Got a couple of bombs there. Look at the difference in color of blue between both made in Hong Kong. A little bit darker blue, a little bit lighter blue. And then, of course, the beautiful dark interior aqua beach bomb. This feels like an open fire. Okay. There it is. So um, this was based on a uh, AMC Gremlin from back in the day. I'm from Wisconsin, so I have a little piece of my heart for Kenosha. And what they did is they extended, they extended the profile of the Gremlin out farther. And that's what you got. Isn't that beautiful? You got the floater wheels are in, in the middle. Those are floaters. These, of course, have the, uh, the back and the fronts. The larges and the front mediums are... Um, are uh, in place as they should. Nice axles. That's a beautiful car, isn't it? Yeah, nice magenta. That's a sweet little ride right there. I'm going to put him on a corner right there. Nice car. All right. Let's see what else is coming out today. Hey, it's a nitty gritty kitty. That's a sweet little car right there. Look at that. Aqua. Original Roundel. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice stripes. Really um, pronounced, very uh, distinct uh, stripes on the Nitty Gritty Kitty. What is it? Ooh, that's a nice magenta Nomad. Classic Nomad. A little bit of toning. Beautiful car. I love it. That's nice. That's a sweet little ride right there. Yeah, Nomad. I'll put those on the top. What are the last two what we got here? Gonna get any more 16s? Please, please be here, be there. <laughs> Custom Cougar and Paul F. Paul F, wow. You know, I don't know how you feel about it, but I love, I really do. Uh, not a painted tooth. I love getting cars that have a, a name on them. I, it just, there's something about that. The legacy of the car, you know, the time, the era, you know, when they, when you were, uh, you're a kid and you're playing with your cars and your buddies came over, or you went over and, you know, the girls were collecting too or whatever. And you identified your car by, by taking a, a whatever you used and you put your name on the, on, on the belly of it. <laughs> and that's sweet. I love it. I just, I think that is so incredibly cool. All right, last car. It looks like a, another custom Barracuda. I think it is. I'm hoping it is. It's not, but it's pretty close. It's a King Cuda. Original Roundel. Original Stripe. Look at this baby. Isn't that cute? When I say cute, I mean really cool. <laughs> I love it. I love them clean. There is some toning going on there, but I like when the roof is nice and clean. You know, and uh, terror's nice, nice shiny base, some gunmetal to it. But there you go. That was uh, just a quick little box opening, a die cast call. Um, and if you uh, would be so kind to subscribe and like the channel, if you will, I'm, I'm trying to, to build a constituency of followers. And then I'll, I'll keep putting the content like this so that you can, you know, pull up a cup of coffee, your favorite beverage, and just enjoy a relaxing opportunity to to see an unveiling like this that um, it's a die-cast call. So until then, stop by often.
See everybody. Bye-bye.